Hey gang, it's just me, Get a Mama. And I'm in my room again where all the magic will happen one day. I know you're probably thinking, what magic? Me too. It's going to be a long wait. Anyway, so my friend's been asking me to do some more mukbangs, so I think I will. Look at my hair. So this is just me. I mean, what can I say? Anyway, let's get back into this uh, food thing. Okay, here's what I'm having tonight. This is pork ro pork roast. This is a baked potato, which was baked in the same pan as the pork roast. And some little carrots. And some macaroni and cheese. Mm. With all kinds of extra cheese in it. This is one of those cheapo... Um, macaroni and cheese uh, boxes for 48 or 50 cents at Winco. This is the um, little Spyro noodles instead of the other kind. Now I got a hair in my mouth. Shit. That's really gross. So, yeah. So I thought, well, I'll just do a mukbang. And I'll probably get interrupted 20,000 million times because, you know, I always do. My whole idea tonight was I was going to make stew. But, I don't know, it just turned into this. See, stew would have lasted a couple meals. This is probably going to last one meal. What I did for the pork roast is, I put it in the pan, you know, like a um, baking pan, like a roaster, and then I put like um, all my seasonings on it, which was, um, believe it or not, garlic powder, onion powder, Tony's Creole seasoning, um, some paprika. When I was at the end of it, I sprinkled everything with paprika to try to make it look pretty, you know, for when it baked. And I actually put some Italian dressing on it. And beside the pork roast, I had the, the potatoes, the potatoes and the carrots. And did the same basically with that. And then I put pats of butter on stuff. Those are really good. It's my kind of food, but it's not diet food. Because I really shouldn't be eating a potato. Oh, and if you're wondering what's on the potato, it, that's not sour cream. That's cream cheese that has the chives and the onions in it. I didn't have any cream cheese. I mean, sour cream. But it's really good. You know, gotta just be in, in, inventive. Now the thing's tell me that I don't have much uh, battery left on my phone. Great. Mm -hmm. So guys, I wanna have some upbeat mukbangs. Because lately, all I do is bitch. Hmm. And I don't want to sit here and complain about stuff. Because it's no fun. And somebody asked me if I would do some more ghost stories. I have some scary stories that are my personal experience, but I don't know if there would be ghost stories or not. Well, one of my scary stories is when I was a kid, well, I'd be about 12, 13. That's a kid. What do you think? 
we had like an outdoor, like, um, it was kind of like what you, a porch swing, but it was like a bench. And it was like a swing, but it was a bench. And I used to love to sit outside at night. And I'm sitting outside at night and I was watching the sky and I seen something like sparkle. You know, like, you know, like stars sparkle. And I kept watching it. And then all of a sudden something went shooting across the sky. Followed by something that seemed like a plane. And um, it was turning color. It was like turning blue and red and green. So I'm thinking, well, it must be a plane. That's what I'm thinking. And I kept watching it. But it didn't have any direction. What I mean by that is, it was just up there and it was going like this and then like this and all around weird stuff. And I was a kid. I'm not drunk, I'm not high, I'm not anything. I'm just watching this color light thing in the sky. And um, so I'm like, wow. And I didn't know what to think. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what got into me. I said, are you an alien? I start talking to it because I was thinking out loud. And it's like the stuff heard me. The thing heard me. But here you go. I'm a kid, so. So I go, well, if you're a...